guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys the most up-to-date tutorial process of how to jailbreak with the Chimera jailbreak and install both Cilio and Cydia side-by-side -side on iOS 12 to 12.1.2 on the latest flagship devices like the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, the 2018 iPad Pros, and of course the iPod Touch 6th generation entirely on device. All right, well, before we start, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest developments pertaining to the Chimera jailbreak. Again, definitely check out our Best Tech Info article for a written tutorial of all this information, as well as download links and things like that are all there too. All right, so to start off, we're gonna use one of our on-device signing platforms to grab the Chimera jailbreak application. Basically, you just select that, click Git right there, click Install, and there we have it, the application is sideloading onto our devices. All right, and once it's downloaded, we can enter the utility and press jailbreak. Again, for the very first time, you're gonna have to run through this process twice. The first time, it's going to create a root file system snapshot to revert back to stock iOS after jailbreaking. And then the second time running this utility, it's actually going to install Cilio and let you guys install tweaks and things like that. All right, so once we're jailbroken, we can head into Cilio and go to sources, and we're going to add one source just like that. Again, the link to this will be down below in this video's description. Pull down to refresh all sources right here. Now we can head into Cydia for the Chimera slash Electra. We can click on all categories and select Cydia for Chimera slash Electra. Click Git, go to packages right here, and while we're at it, we can go ahead and just install one tweak. It really doesn't matter which one. Let's go ahead and install a free one like Anemone. We'll go ahead and click Git. And now it's going to queue up all of the other packages that you guys immediately need to upgrade and or install right after jailbreaking, like Substitute. And right now this actually already comes with the latest version of Preference Loader and Rocket Bootstrap. So there's no more need to install those manually. So with all of this queued up, we can go ahead and click confirm and let Cilio install all of these packages onto our device. And once we're done, we can restart our springboard to finalize the installation. Once we are back after that is done, as you guys will notice, Cydia and Anemone are both on our device now. You don't have to keep Anemone. That was mostly just to update the other packages. But that's how simple it is, guys. Now we can go ahead and open up Cydia right here and once again apply any changes directly within Cydia right after installing it. So we'll just let the sources reload real fast. So it doesn't look like there's actually any changes, but again, if there are, feel free to update them there. But that's pretty much the gist of this video, guys. That is how to get Cydia as well as Cilio both running on your guys' jailbreak on iOS 12 to 12.1.2, again, on the latest A12 devices. Both Celio and Cydia run perfectly fine on this jailbreak. Again, if you guys wanna learn how to update this jailbreak utility, we also have a video for that. And now once you guys are jailbroken, if you guys are looking for things to install, definitely check out one of our top tweak videos. We've covered literally over 100 tweaks that you guys can install right now on this jailbreak. Anyway, links to those videos will be down below in this video's description or in your cards now. Thank you guys so much for watching this quick video. Again, before you guys head out, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest developments pertaining to this jailbreak and Apple-related news. Anyway guys, thank you so much for the incredible support. I can't believe we're almost at 900,000 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you all for watching. We'll be back with another awesome video very soon. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to today's top tweaks video. So starting out here on the lock screen, we have Asteroid, which gives us this awesome weather complication right here. We can easily dismiss it just like that. We also have Jellyfish, which was 
just recently updated as well. Up in the top left right here, we have Xeon to customize our status bar. And here at the very bottom, we have Jumper to basically give us more options on these toggles right here. As you guys can see, we have the default flashlight, but then you have three other custom ones that you can set as well, or you can just set these two as specific applications. So let's go ahead and go into the settings app. Just a quick update here, better settings is now entirely updated and the settings pane does load so you can further customize your settings app. Also, if you guys notice this entire redesign where I have my tweaks right here at the top, all nice and neat and organized, that is done with shuffle. Now, two others that kind of do somewhat of the same thing. This one's kind of like spring demise, but it's called essentials where you can block certain alerts and further customize your entire OS. Along the same lines, we have miscellaneous settings, which does just about the same things, a little bit further customization with the status bar and things like that, but definitely two tweaks to check out. So let's head into the messages app. Here we have bubbles to give us this nice message app redesign. If we go ahead and go into a thread, it also colorizes your messages right here and you can add an awesome gradient just like that. An emoji 12.2 brings the iOS 12.2 an emojis like the shark, the boar, the giraffe, and the owl to iOS 12 to 12.1.2. Lastly, one that I thought would be awesome for everyone that has an iPhone 10R without 3D touch, an awesome one is called swipe selection where you can easily swipe on your cursor to move around. You don't actually have to force touch it here. So it kind of brings that native gesture back that everyone is used to on pretty much every other device aside from the iPhone 10R. Another awesome one is called textile. So we can enter it right there to quickly stylize our text. So if I go all the way over to something like script bold, if I click on that, now our text directly within the messages app is entirely stylized. And this actually appears just like that on the receiver's end as well. So a great one that I showed you guys before is called Photo Manager for iOS 12. So if I wanna take all of these wallpapers right here and click add to new album, and here is where it comes up. Instead of just copying into that album, I can actually move all of those pictures to a new album. Let's just name it WP for wallpaper and click OK. I guess it didn't name it correctly, but as you guys can see, those photos have been removed from my camera roll and now only reside in this folder right here. So on my home screen, I have a three by eight layout and that was done in my previous video with Iconator. But if you guys have previously purchased Boxy 3, that is now also updated for the Chimera Jailbreak, again, for A12 devices. One that I was super excited to see that was just updated is called Zenith. Now this tweak kind of mimics Apex 2 for older iOS versions. It's a new way to organize your apps behind other apps. So like for my settings app, as an example, I have the App Store as well as the Apple Store right there and it's a super interesting way to keep your springboard organized. So let's pull down the control center. Here we have Toglo to basically add this nice glow to our control center modules. We also have Sugarcane, if you guys can kind of see that, which adds the percentages to the sliders right there. Also, if I go ahead and swipe over, I have Do Not Disturb enabled right now, but if I go to the lock screen and dismiss that tweak right there, as you guys can see, I don't have a notification. I just have this nice little moon right there, and that's done with Leave Me Alone. So just a couple other updates. iCleaner Pro has been updated to clean your iOS file system. NFC Writer was also updated to scan and emulate NFC tags. Like you saw from my video yesterday, Reprovision works perfectly fine. And we also have a brand new way to install Cydia directly on device. A video is coming on this very soon. So those are some of the latest updates to tweaks that were previously available on the Uncovered Jailbreak for iOS 12. There are also tweaks that have been around since iOS 10 and 11, not all of them, but some of them. Let's take the second half of this video and talk about some brand new tweaks that were just released. Anyway guys, Thank you so much for watching this quick video. Before you go, definitely like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and if you want to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking and Apple-related news. Anyway, guys, until next time, this is Tony, signing out.
different